Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be talking about how much Crimson Invasion Pokemon cards are worth. In the description of this video, you'll find a link to the playlist I've created for these types of videos that I've done on my channel in the past. Also, in the description of this video, you'll find a link to my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. In my book, I give price ranges for all cards from base set through Guardians Rising. So this video will include several different sections. First off, I'll be providing some general information on the Crimson Invasion set. I'll be giving prices for all notable cards in the set, tips for collecting these types of cards, and then future value of Crimson Invasion Pokemon cards. So for general information on the Crimson Invasion set, this is the 76th set in the Pokemon TCG and the 4th set in the main Sun and Moon series of sets. Official release date for this set, November 3rd, 2017, and this set is based around both the Aether Foundation as well as the Ultra Beast. There are 124 total cards in this set, so it is a little bit smaller set overall. There are 13 secret rares in this set and 111 cards in the base set. Of course, the way that you identify a Crimson Invasion Pokemon card, look at the set symbol in the bottom left-hand corner of the card. If you're interested in finding out other general information about this set on the screen and then in the description of this video, I can link to the set review and summary video I did for Crimson Invasion. So now on to how much these cards are actually worth. And the way that I determine Pokemon card values, I look at sites that sell Pokemon cards like Troll and Toad, Collector's Cash, Poke Order, Professor Oak, etc. And then I look at sold listings on eBay to see how much these cards actually sell for. And of course, Pokemon card prices, especially for newer sets, vary from week to week. But this is the values that I've come up with as of about a week after the official release date. So first up, I'll be talking about the Rare Hollow Pokemon cards. And in total, there are 12 Rare Hollow cards in this set. On average, they are about 1 in 6 booster packs. You're looking at getting about 6 Rare Hollow cards per booster box. Value-wise, they're not worth much. You're looking at about $0.40 cents to $1.50 each. This Type Null is the most expensive, and it is worth $1.50. And then the reverse hollow of the rare hollow cards are usually worth just a little bit less than the hollow form. But here is a look at the hollow foil pattern of the type null. So the 12 rare hollow cards in this set, you can see on the screen. And other than the type null, every other rare hollow in this set is less than 75 cents in value. But the 12 hollow cards, Go Goat, Alolan Marowak, Milotic, Regice, Alolan Raichu, Gengar, Salazzle, Beware, Agron, Xerneas, Regigigas, and then Type Null. But again, about one in six booster packs for one of these rare holo cards, and they range in value from 40 cents to a dollar and 50 cents. Next up would be the Pokemon GX, the regular GX cards. Eight total regular GX cards in this set. The same eight are also available in GX Full Art as well as GX Rainbow Rare form. These cards are about 1 in 9 booster packs. You're looking at 3 to 4 per booster box. They range in value from $3 to $7. As far as values go, three of these regular GX cards are $7 a piece. They are Nihiligo, Buzzwall, and Silvalli. Cartana GX is worth $5. Guzzlord is worth $4. And then three GX cards are worth $3 a piece. They are Gyarados, Alolan Golem, and Alolan Executor. GX Full Art cards are next, and the same eight regular GX cards that I just mentioned, all available in GX Full Art form. These cards range in value from $5 to $14. One per booster box is what these cards on average are to pull from packs. Between Full Art Trainer cards and GX Full Art cards, you're looking at one to two per booster box. The Crimson Invasion booster boxes can vary widely, pull rate wise. In my Crimson Invasion booster box, I actually pulled three GX Full Art cards, zero Full Art Trainers, and zero Secret Rare cards. I've seen several Crimson Invasion booster box openings where people are only getting three, maybe four Ultra Rares and Secret Rares combined total in their booster box. So value wise, Silvalli GX is worth $14. Buzzwool is worth $12. Both Nihiligo and Cartana 
are worth 11. Guzzlord and Alolan Executor are both worth 8. Gyarados is worth 7. And then Alolan Golem is worth $5. Full Art Trainer cards are next, and this set is a little bit smaller overall, like I mentioned. Only three Full Art Trainer cards in this set. Again, like the GX Full Art cards, you're looking at one to two per booster box. Three total in this set, and they range in value from $13 to $31. So the most valuable card in this set, and the most valuable Full Art Trainer, is Lusamine. It's worth $31. Gladion, as I'm showing on screen, is worth $23, and then Olivia is worth $13. GX Rainbow Rare cards are next, and many call these GX Hyper Rare. The same eight Pokemon that I've been mentioning consistently are also available in GX Rainbow Rare form. These are about 1 in 72 booster packs, so they're very tough to pull from packs. Value-wise, they range in value from $12 to $23. So value-wise, both Buzzwool and Silvalli are worth $23 a piece. Three Pokemon are worth $21. They would be Nihiligo, Guzzlord, and Cartana. Gyarados is worth $16. And then both Alolan Golem and Alolan Executor are worth $12. And between GX, GX Full Art, and GX Rainbow Rare, if a card is worth a lot as a regular GX, it's going to be the most valuable GX Full Art, GX Rainbow Rare, etc. The final type of notable card I'll talk about in this video would be the Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards. Five different cards like this in the set. Very tough to pull, about 1 in 72 booster packs. Between the GX Rainbow Rare and the Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards, I would say that this type of card, the Secret Rare Trainer or Energy card, is a little bit tougher to pull, but it is possible to pull both a Secret Rare Trainer or Energy card and a GX Rainbow Rare from one booster pack. These cards range in value from $9 to $21. Two of the three special energy and basic energy cards in this set for secret rares are $21 a piece, both counter energy and water energy. Two cards are worth $15, counter catcher and warp energy. And then the least valuable secret rare trainer in the set is of course the one that I've actually pulled from a pack. Wishful Baton is worth $9. So again, $9 to $21 for these Secret Rare Trainer and Energy cards. So I guess to summarize all the most valuable cards in this set, the top few most valuable cards in the set, Lusamine Full Art, which is worth $31, is the most valuable card in this set. And then three Pokemon are worth $23 a piece, the Gladion Full Art, which isn't a Pokemon, but a trainer, Buzzwool GX Rainbow Rare, and then Silvalli GX Rainbow Rare. Those three cards are all worth $23. And then several cards from this set are all worth $21 a piece. They are Nihiligo, Guzzlord, and Cartana for GX Rainbow Rare cards, and then Counter Energy and Water Energy for Secret Rares. All of those cards are worth $21 a piece. So now on to tips for collecting cards from this set. And I say this in all of my videos just like this. If you are only into collecting, it does not make any sense to purchase these cards as soon as they are new. After a set is out of the standard format of the Pokemon TCG, the value of the cards go way down. With that being said, the most valuable card in this set is only worth $31. So as a collector and someone who does play the competitive TCG a little bit as of right now, I love that this set isn't very valuable, but that also means that this set isn't very good in the TCG. So I can go out and buy these cards, not a problem. I'm not going to have to spend hundreds of dollars completing this set like I have done for the previous Sun and Moon series of sets. But for the foreseeable future, I can see these cards staying pretty steady. They may go down a little bit, and then if there's anything that comes out later in a future set, that one of these cards in this set works well with, the price of that card may shoot up. But for the most part, this is a cheap set to collect. You can definitely go out and buy singles and complete the set pretty cheaply. Now, as far as buying sealed products, the best value there is to always buy a booster box. I know that Troll and Toad is selling a booster box for $79.95. It really depends on what you can get for a shipping deal on there. Sometimes if you buy enough, you can get free shipping, no matter the site you're purchasing from. But as far as tips for collecting, like I said, if you're a competitive player of the TCG, you want to buy these cards individually online. If you're only a collector, wait until this set is out of the standard format. You're looking at about two to three years from now. If you're a little bit of a mix of both, 
what I do personally is I buy a couple of booster boxes that open up on my channel and all of the newest sealed products with Crimson Invasion open up all of that and then purchase the remaining cards I have not pulled from packs and purchase those cards online. Now on to future value for this set and in the future these cards are all going to be somewhat valuable. What's going to happen is once this set goes out of the standard format the prices of all cards are going to go down significantly. Then after about five to ten years it does take a while all the cards will start to increase in value. Now with this set none of these cards are very good in the TCG. In my opinion, there's not really any great Pokemon in this set, popularity-wise. So I really can't see the cards in this set being a very good investment. I don't think anything's going to be super valuable in the distant future. The only thing I can say is that this is the first set to include the Ultra Beasts as GX cards. So that may be something that collectors seek out in the future. And I know one person messaged me and said that this set is similar to, I believe it was, Fates Collide, where there are some cool looking cards and cool looking Pokemon in the set but for competitive purposes this set is not very good. If you look at prices for Fates Collide I believe the most valuable card in that set is only worth about ten dollars. So overall as a collector this is going to be a cheap set to collect right away. Future value not that high in this set and for competitive TCG play not that great of a set. It is a little bit smaller of a set which I like but I believe in Ultra Prism is the next set coming out in February that will be a larger set like Burning Shadows so there should be some better cards in there for the TCG. So there you have it there's everything you need to know about prices for cards in the Crimson Invasion set. If you have any additional questions for me please let me know in the comment section of this video. I do read through every single comment on all of my videos. So there you have it thanks everyone for watching. As always before you go check out all the links in the description of this video including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.